you. Today I'm testing a new GPS tracker and the device is on my Skywalker right now as I fly. And now for those of you that take FPV seriously or even if you just fly for fun, the biggest thing that we all dread is to have our aircraft crash with all our expensive equipment on board and then worse not be able to find it again. Now this hasn't happened to me yet but I can't help but wonder what I would do if all of a sudden I was out flying and then I lost all video signals or lost all control of my plane and then with mounting anxiety I realized my aircraft is not coming back. Now as we head back, watch, a really strange thing happens. Watch the live video feed. See it looks great right there. Breaking up a little bit. Breaking up a little bit but it's still fine. It's no, no problem. No big deal. And then all of a sudden out of nowhere whack it just completely demolishes for a second and I was like whoa hold on and then it completely disappears again now I'm flying blind I can't see where I'm going now I've got over a thousand dollars in equipment on my Skywalker and if it goes down I would really like to know where it ends up so that I can retrieve my equipment because more than likely the plane might be a total loss the wings might be snapped and the fuselage might be busted up, but the electronics, which are the most expensive, would pro probably survive. So here is a, what I have today is a, a nice lightweight solution, which is really easy to use. Okay, it's a GPS tracker, which you can mount in or on your aircraft, and it works just like uh, an emergency locator beacon, sending you its exact GPS coordinates to your cell phone. How simple is that? Okay, now we all have some sort of plan in place with regards to locating our aircraft if it goes down, but how foolproof are these plans really? Okay, my plane does have return to launch autopilot features, but what if there is a battery failure or if any other system fails on my aircraft? What if my UBEC fails? What if my plane experiences a structural failure? There will be no returning home then. So personally, what I've done, whenever I go on a long flight or to an area that I'm unfamiliar with, what I usually do is I usually record the video that's coming to my video goggles from my, from my flight camera. So as, as you guys know already, when you have OSD information in your goggles, you have the GPS coordinates, all that in your video. So that way, if I do crash or if I lose control somehow or or my plane otherwise goes down, then all I gotta do is rewind the video and watch for the last snowy GPS position information on the screen and I can find my plane, right? Well, after thinking about it, this isn't really a good idea. If your plane goes down, you'll be very lucky to find it again, in my opinion. And if you do get lucky, it seems to me that it could take hours of searching, knocking on doors, hopping fences, climbing trees, blazing trails to find the wreckage. And it just doesn't seem like a very good plan. And not only that, but what if, you're, what if your plane crashes because your video feed fails? What if you, all of a sudden all you get is snow and you're, you know, way up in the air? You, your plane could be miles away. There's just no way you're going to be able to find your plane by going back over OSD information and saying, okay, yeah, it went down right there. I just don't see that happening. For the kind of catastrophic failure that's going to take for my plane to crash, it's going to be something bad, and I'm probably going to end up losing video or losing electronics or battery or something's going to happen. Because as long as I've got video, you know, I'm okay. But chances are, if my plane does go down, I'm going to be experiencing a loss of video, and I'm going to be having to do a hike to find my plane. So this could be all bad. This is a bad situation, and we hope it never happens to us. But if it ever happens, and if your plane has one of these GPS trackers on board, this is a solution right here. Okay, it's lightweight. It weighs less than two ounces. It runs on its own internal battery, so it doesn't require any. If your flight pack fails, or if your uh, video battery fails, or your control battery, your receiver battery fails, doesn't matter. This thing's still going to be operating. So um, it runs on its own battery, and it will send GPS coordinates from anywhere in the world. So it doesn't matter where your plane ends up; um, it'll still send this, the coordinates to you. Now, to give you an idea of how simple this tracker is to operate, it's extremely easy. Once you get it all set up, all you do is you turn it on, you wait for a few seconds for it to blink slowly, and that means it's initialized, and then you're ready to go. You just put it in your plane, or stick it in your car, or wherever, wherever you want to put it, really. And if you experience a lost aircraft, all you do is use your cell phone, you call the tracker, the number, and it, the tracker sends you a text message back 
with GPS coordinates info. I mean, how simple is that? The track now the tracker has many other functions which I won't get into here. Okay, there's links down in the description at the bottom, and you can find more information down there where to buy it um, and uh, the other features that it has. There's another video that I linked to, which is one of my videos. One thing I do want to point out, though, which is really handy, is if you use a smartphone with this tracker, then when your tracker sends your smartphone the message, your smartphone will automatically provide you with the link to Google Earth, so you can just press the uh, link and you'll automatically be taken to a map showing you exactly where your tracker and also therefore your plane is located. So what I'm going to do now is I'm going to take you out to the field and I'm going to summarize really quickly what took place during this flight and then um, I'm going to go over um, the results of this experiment. Okay, so we're going to try a test of this tracker system. I'm going to send it a text message. So basically I'm telling it that every 30 seconds for 60 times I want this thing to send a message, a text message to my phone telling me exactly what its GPS coordinates are. That way if my plane crashes I'll know where to retrieve it from. So we're going to take the tracker and I've already got a bomb drop mechanism on the bottom of my plane. So I'm just going to stick it right up there with a rubber band. I'm going to rubber band it on and uh, whenever I call it with my phone or text it actually it's going to send me a text message to this phone every 30 seconds and tell me exactly where it's at no matter what. So it's going to be pretty cool. Okay, so we flew out about three kilometers, about three and a half or so. And the um, it's still sending messages to my phone, so it's still giving coordinates. It gave coordinates for the whole flight. So we're going to go home and plot those on Google Earth and see how accurate this thing is. But it looks pretty promising. <laughs> so if this baby would have gone down, somewhere. I could have just looked on my cell phone for the GPS coordinates and found it. Found my plane. It got wet too on landing. But I don't think it affected it at all. It's still sending messages. I should probably dry it off. So for this flight I took off from Liberty School here and I took off to the north and what I did is I set the tracker um, I sent it a text message and basically told it, I said, hey, I want you to send me coordinate information every 30 seconds. And so you can see, after I plotted the coordinates that it sent to me, to my cell phone, it shows my whole entire flight, flying out over downtown Albany, over these bridges. I flew out to North Albany. I flew over here, and then right when I got to uh, North Albany Middle School, I turned around and head, headed back. But that's really cool. I mean, it shows my exact plots every 30 seconds. It shows me where my plane was. It shows me coming in. Towards the end of the flight, um, I came over to uh, Takina School, and I did a loop over here. I did a loop before coming in to land. So it shows me coming in this way. Here's my landing. But every single one of those coordinates came in as a text message on my phone. So it's really easy to use. I mean, and, and this is the, one of the features that it has. It has a lot of other features, so you can watch my other video to see everything that the, um, that the tracker does. But for me, for us, this is what's interesting about it, is we can track our flights. And if any, at any point I would have crashed my plane out here in the boonies somewhere, I could have called my tracker up and it would gave me exact coordinates to what tree it was in, or um, what building it ended up in, or you know, of course, if it ends up at a government building or something like that, maybe I that would tell me that I don't want to go searching for my plane. <laughs> no, just kidding. No, but anyway, so it's really handy. I mean, we've got all these electronics on our planes, but we don't really have a way to protect it. I mean, think about it. You've got one battery controlling your your controls. Uh, your possibly your motor, your uh, autopilot, and if that battery fails for any reason, you're going down. You're not going to find your plane. So anyway, this is a really cool, uh, this is a really cool little invention, and it's worth every penny. They're only like, you know, they're 80 bucks, 8, 70 bucks, or something like that. They're not very much. They're really inexpensive. Really good investment, in my opinion.